So this is the day where I'm taking all the boxes off of each plant and weeding, weeding this poor forsaken vineyard. Just this one, you know, we don't know if this one's going to come back. We have to wait and see because some of them are starting to barely get leaves on them, but some have lots of leaves on them like this one. So we're taking all the boxes off so that they can start climbing on these wires right here. So it's going to be a great day, lots of work, but just a little bit. This vineyard's going to look in a lot better shape. Got lots to do though, as you can see, a lot of weeds to pull. We get these boys up pretty soon and help Holy out. Holy moly, do we have our work cut out for us today? Woo wee! <sighs> All the tubes off and made wells for every great plant. And kind of see where we need to get new plants for things like this. We have a nursery full of baby plants, but we'll see what happens. Some of them look like they're not quite started yet, and others are doing really well. Next, I'm going to hoe all of this. So we've got Brighton who is hoed and all the weeds that were tall we're not hoed sorry <laughs> weed eated and we're hoeing each row getting all of the rows cleaned up and discovering which plants need to be replaced with babies from the from the uh, what you call it but it's looking really good right doing a good job Caden has been breaking each row so that it's nice and smooth so you can kind of see all the plants are starting to show themselves and hopefully in the next week or so we'll see some buds from the plant we have to replace so looking forward to that ladybugs as well so they're laying their eggs within the wood which is pretty neat I'll find some more in a minute but you can see it's a lot different than it did earlier we got all of the every single row we've gotten weeded we got all the weeds out we've cut the middle of the rows down the pathways pathways down to where everything's short and neat you can see where our grapes haven't come in in some areas, but then they're coming in in others. We've got our berries that are growing profusely, beautifully. The raspberries are right here, the blackberries are right here, and all the old wily berries that are all along the fence, including the blackberries. So we got drip tube to all those today. John got all that done. still do a lot of raking. Boys just went in and took a break because they helped a lot so that I, I hoed every single row myself and then the boys helped rake all of the weeds at the end of each row. You can see where this grape is doing just fine. It's very short. This one is not doing good so I'm going to probably have to put a nursery plant in there from our little nursery. There's one that's doing extremely well, but you can see that there's a lot of variation because of the gophers. That one's doing great. That one's short, but sweet, doing good. This one's definitely doing well. My nose is running because I've been breathing in dust with all the weeding we've been doing and hoeing and breaking. hands are just beet red and they hurt really bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. See, so these ones, we're not sure if they're going to come back or not. This one has leaves on it, so we know he's going to come back. But leaves. This one's a, this one's a, it looks like it's 
like there's like a little fuzzy spot. So we just gotta encourage him, I guess, to grow. There we go. So things change quickly when they just come back to life. They, all of a sudden you'll see a leaf that you didn't see yesterday. So this row looks pretty good. Every every grape is there. Whereas we have other rows where the gophers got a hold of them. Apple trees are doing good. This one's really doing good. It's already starting to grow fingers. Yeah, these are doing great. We still have to put wire on this rope. But all in all, it's a lot neater and a lot cleaner. Let me tell you, it is a green day in Relic Springs today. Blue skies, breeze. We just saw a hawk get a bird out of a tree and take it to its nest. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of sad for the bird. That is got to be the most awful way to die. Oh my gosh. Being pecked to death, you know. It's awful. Anyways, nature, does, nature runs its course around here, there's no doubt. But for all the grow tubes, we're going to put these in a big box so that we can use these when we get our Chardonnay grapes this summer. We're already ordering, we're already ordering them actually, so we're going to be picking them up shortly and planting them after probably June. A weekend in June sometime, or maybe even sooner if we can. But yeah, things are growing. It's definitely cleaner, definitely more neat and tidy, no more weeds. So that was the goal today. And then Brighton also, you know, weeded, or not weeded, but mowed the uh, grass that we put in last year, the, um, excuse me, the uh, sod that we put in last year. I have to straighten this whole pathway with these pathway and then but you can see how we move we just have to rake that one out so anyways spring is beautiful but spring is a lot of work <laughs> so me in the vineyard so now you can see these little grapes that are growing, so pretty. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize they were already growing grapes. Look how young they are. They just started sprouting leaves and they already have grapes on them. So here's some more larvae in this book. But that definitely looks like a ladybug. And there was ladybugs all over the grape plants. So I think the ladybugs are really going to help with the aphids and things of that we do have. <laughs> so. Right and doing the barbecuing. Thank <laughs> you.